Are you really attempting to live a life that improves the conditions for other people, beginning with the people that you come from? Um, or are you just basically trying to enjoy your life, provide for yourself and your family and have some fun before you close your eyes? That becomes a question only individuals can answer. I'm an elder. Every one of us will die. And every one of us who's black will be faced by our ancestors who were slaves. And the first question they're going to ask us is, what did you do with your freedom to free other black people? But they're going to ask us, did white people kill us? Because white people killed them. Ladies and gentlemen, we don't have time for racial fanaticism. We are in a country that is trying to destroy us in every way possible, and we must use every weapon that we can think about, and we must create new ones. But in the interim between you, your, the life, your, if your lifespan is not spent empowering yourself politically, economically, and psychologically, then don't blame white people, because the only person guilty is you. I laid out a plan. And some would say, well, that's a digression. What are you doing to empower people like you? What are you doing to fight for them? Because I assure you, our ancestors who were slaves will ask you that as soon as they welcome you wherever you're going after you leave here. So that question very quickly by simply asking ourselves, why were black people brought to this country? We were brought here to work. Does that reason exist today? America has a problem. What do they do with the people they no longer need? But remember how you phrase the question determines the answer. The Negro question is, what are they going to do for us? The African question is, what are we going to do for ourselves? In other